manager and I got on really well with him and uh, just pretty much the last three weeks it just felt right. How much do you know about the MLS? Yeah, he's got a pretty pretty high profile mm -hmm. in uh, in UK. Um, so I know, uh, or at least I'm going to try and get to know a little bit more in the next couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm not coming in. It's not a complete unknown. Uh, what could excel in such a short time you've been with this team? Um, so in the last three days, it's uh, it's been tough work. It's the start of their preseason. Uh, it's been a physical three days, but um, there's a lot of new players. So I think the trip to England and to Portland, I think, uh, I think hopefully that's the time the team will gel. What do you think the MLS has become so attractive for European players? I mean, Villa, Yoingo, TG. What's what's happening? I think it's just, uh, well, obviously, it's uh, the league. I think has just progressed since um, in the last four or five years. I think the American national team helped that. I think uh, I played against them, and they're a very good side. And I think just the interest is raising, or, or it's been raised. It's just a very attractive league, and I think um, I think once you get a, a relationship with a manager and an owner of that particular club, I think uh, I think you just get the right feelings, and um, it's obviously a privilege to be here, and, and it's appreciated. What can we expect from this team for this season? Well, um, I think it's uh, like the owner and the manager have got real high hopes for the season. Um, I think obviously with 10, 11 new players, it might take us a little bit of time to gel, but we're going to work very hard and. Uh, Like I hope it's going to be a success. Uh, I believe it can be, and I think uh, the next four or five weeks, a lot of hard work is going to get put in. Thank you, Sean. I know.